And I'm not a dumb girl. Like, and I think that honestly made me more of a target. And sometimes people think, gosh, you know, you're a victim of this gaslighting and narcissism and all these manipulative tactics, but you're a smart person and it doesn't have anything to do with that. Self-development Sundays. Welcome to the show, Jenny Prem. How are you? (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Can you share with us uh, what inspires you to become an author, a speaker, and a life coach? All right. Well, I'm just going to give it to you real, okay? (laughs) My book is about, so my first book, You're My Favorite. It's my true story of a shocking and traumatic end to a romantic relationship. Basically, I did not know the man that was living in my house. And I'm not a dumb girl. Like, and I think that honestly made me more of a target. And sometimes people think, gosh, you know, you're a victim of this gaslighting and narcissism and all these manipulative tactics, but you're a smart person and it doesn't have anything to do with that. So I want, if anybody's been a victim of that, you know, hopefully that gives you some hope or some reassurance that there's nothing wrong with you. You're not broken, but What inspired me to write the book was a couple of months after the split, I was in this clothing boutique and these girls were gossiping about my story and not even accurately. Okay. (laughs) So I left and I thought, gosh, is my story that interesting that people want to hear about it and talk about it? Maybe I should put it out there myself and, and put it out there accurately So I start writing and for about about six months, I just start writing the story and, you know, kind of putting it out there. I did put it on the shelf for a while. Um, It was given a very clear sign to circle back to it and put my book out there. Um, And so I did, it was published in March of 2022. And that experience going through what I did, I, I name him Chad in the book. That's not his real name. But uh, he hates that name, so that's why I had to pick it. You know, sometimes you just have to do those little things that bring you a little humor, you know, throughout a really traumatic experience. But um, so I named him Chad and going through what I did with him really sent me on this healing and growing journey. You know, I want to hear how did you choose personal growth in this situation? You know, so there's the saying by this uh, shaman, Heather Ash Amara, and she says that change is inevitable, but transformation is by conscious choice. I lost my dad two years ago and my dad was my guy. Like he was everything that shaped me to, you know, any good qualities that I do have, I got them from him and he really shaped me, but he had these things that I call dadisms. I I coined that phrase. I don't think it's a real thing, but we know dad jokes, right? So dad jokes are usually well-intended, maybe poorly timed. That's kind of how I think about a dadism, but it's really a life lesson. Still poorly timed and well-intended, but um, he had these dadisms and one of them was, you are the architect of your own destiny. And it was the most annoying one. But you know what? I use it all the time in my motivational speaking. And I talk about it here in these podcasts because it is truly one of, I think, his best dadisms. And to me, what I take from it now is we can't always control what happens, but we can control how we respond. And so I kind of take the you know, both of those saints that quote from that shaman and kind of my dad's life lesson, I couldn't control what happened. I couldn't control what Chad did to me. I couldn't control how he financially took advantage of me and how he put my physical health at risk and the stress and the gaslighting and how he used me and manipulated me. I couldn't control that. What I could control is what I took from that experience. And that's why I think I really chose this path of healing and growing and personal transformation. I don't know if it even, if I chose it or if it chose me. Um, but now I get to use that experience to help other people on their own healing and growing journeys and finding their best path forward for that. I'm, I'm really grateful. Uh, One of the things I never really imagined was, you know, sure. I knew that putting my book out into the world would, hopefully help raise awareness to the chads out there. 
but I had no idea how many real life victims there were of the Chad, my Chad in the book. So as soon as I started, as soon as the book came out, I started receiving messages, DMs on Instagram and Facebook from women saying, hey, thank you so much for writing your book and putting your story out there. I'm also a victim or a survivor of the real life Chad. Okay, so the the look of shock on your face, Brittany, just wait, wait, there's more. About a year after my book came out, there was a photo of him posted in a secret Facebook group. And there's over 33,000 members. Instantly, like a hundred or more women started commenting about their experiences with him. They all start DMing me, DMing one another, sharing my book with each other in the messages, creating connection and community. And there are countless women now. I've I've lost track. Um, but the beautiful thing that has happened from it is it has provided validation. It's saved a lot of women from interacting with him more. I mean, that in itself, man, to be able, I, I had no idea that I would you know, be able to provide that gift to people. And I'm so grateful for that. You have your own podcast. Can you tell us about that? Sure. It's called Drinking with Gin. It's not about drinking at all. I'm gin, but you get to have drinks with me. So it's a personal growth podcast I bring on. So it's kind of threefold. So my solo episodes, I like to say my drink is my sidekick. It's all about personal growth. I do get really open and vulnerable and I share some of my own experiences. I bring on guests to share their own inspiring stories of how they grew through adversity or experienced post-traumatic growth. Some pretty amazing ones. Um, Like I had on a kidnapping survivor. She was kidnapped by Somali pirates and held hostage in the desert for 93 days for $45 million ransom and ultimately rescued by SEAL Team 6. Um, So I've had some pretty incredible guests on the show. And then I also bring on expert guests. So I've had on doctors and therapists, psychologists. Beautiful. Do you have more books? Well, Brittany, um, this is my first podcast. I haven't even announced this publicly yet. I haven't announced it on my social media, not on my website. I just started booking media and press to specifically talk about this. So the next book is done and it's about to be released and it's called I'm My Favorite. It's a guided journal that gives you, it's full of beautiful artwork, inspiring quotes, context around my own journey and kind of that healing and growing journey. So I developed something called Gin Path and it's three components, the G, the I, and the N. And those components are all put together beautifully in this guided journal with a full year of exercises, worksheets, journal prompts to help people find their best path forward. So that is coming out soon. That is wonderful. Awesome. I'm actually going to host some workshops for this too, because I think there's some real power. Like when I talk about creating connection and community, I think there can be some real value in one another sharing different resources and parts of their story or partnering up with an accountability partner, because I talk a lot about um, gathering information. And that was one of the things that, you know, these are the things that I did on my own path. Um, and then intentions and intentionality as well as nurturing yourself. So that's the G, the I, and the N that's where a lot of the healing and the growing happened for me is when I started to be able to look at myself and my own behaviors and my coping mechanisms, you know, I realized that I had been carrying around this false sense of armor and, you know, Ginny before you're my favorite, is a very different Ginny than now. Um, I think people would have used to maybe describe me as tough, hard to get to know, not emotional. And all of that was always here, but I think I hit it underneath a, you know, like I said, this kind of false sense of armor and really get to know yourself. What I think I experienced is post-traumatic growth. And a lot of people have heard of post-traumatic stress disorder, but we don't hear as much about post-traumatic growth. It's a newer concept, but sometimes what happens when people go through something really adverse, really difficult, really traumatic is they use that opportunity to find a new way 
or a new purpose in life. And that's exactly what I did. I've since exited my corporate career and now I'm full-time motivational speaker, best-selling author with second one, you know, on the way and, you know, podcast host like you and a life coach. And I've really been able to use my experience to help other people through difficult times too. But that's part of what was the motivation behind I'm my favorite, you know, the guided journal for your path forward is because I wish I had some of these tools. I wish I knew some of these things when I was younger and maybe it would have prevented me from having to go through this kind of experience, you know, in order to get to the place that I'm at today. Can you tell people how they can get a hold of you if, you know, they feel a connection with you and they want to learn and grow with you? Absolutely. Um, all of my stuff is really creative. It's my name. So <laughs> my website is ginnypream.com. I hang out most of the time social media wise on Instagram. So that's the best way to find me if you want to connect on social media, Ginny Prem. Um, Drinking with Gin is on all the major podcast platforms. So whatever you're listening to this on, you can find Drinking with Gin there. And all my stuff is on my website too. Well, that makes it easy. I just am thankful that you had me on. Um, I'm glad that we found each other. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here today, everyone. This Jenny Prem, go find her. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening episode of the Zarlaquan podcast. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter so you never miss a beat. 